Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. This is the second part of our video where we are adding a dark mode to our blogger website. In the last video, we added the styles and uh, we added the colors to our elements. And this is how our website looks when we are on a dark mode. Now in this video, we will add a button over here using which we can toggle between the dark and the light mode. So let's get started. Let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and uh, let's go to theme and then go to this arrow and click on edit HTML. First of all, let's create a division for the button. So let's go to the end of our theme source code and uh, here just before the body ends, uh, we will add a division and uh, we'll give it a class of dark mode button. And uh, in that division, we will have an icon for the dark mode and for that we'll be using a font awesome icon so let's go ahead and grab the font awesome CDN just search for font awesome CDN and uh, you will get the link so I'll just go ahead and uh, copy the link of our font awesome so let's go ahead and uh, open this and I will just copy this HTML so the tag has been copied let's go back to our uh, theme code and uh, let's go to the head section this is where we add all the links so let's add our font awesome link over here as well all right now to use font awesome icons you have to use the i tag and uh, then you have to add some classes now if you want to learn how to add different icons to your website using font awesome you can go to their website and then click on icons and then you can just search for the icons over here and you'll get the code to add the icon so let me just type dark we can use this icon for the dark mode toggle button so let's click on that and then you have to copy this line of code from here and we'll go to our uh, theme code and uh, let's add our code right here inside the division so let's go ahead and save this theme and we have an error on line number 3201 so let's go over there and here we can see that we have some problem with the closing of the head tag that's because one of the link tags has not been closed properly so i think that's because of the font awesome code that we just copied so when we are using this code for the blogger website you also have to add a forward slash over here and now let's save the theme and we can see that it updates successfully let's also add some css to the button so let's go to all the CSS and uh, let's go to the end of the CSS all right this is the end of the CSS so let's go ahead and uh, add some CSS for our dark mode button so let's type dot dark mode button and uh, we'll keep a background color of white we'll set a padding of 8 pixels and uh, 14 pixels I will set a position of the button to absolute and uh, we will set the top position to 100 pixels and uh, the right position to 100 pixels. We will also set the Z index to 100 so that it will be above every other element and we will also set a font size of 28 pixels and also set the cursor to pointer. Alright, so let's save this and uh, see whether our button is visible. And we can see that our button is being shown over here. Let's also add border radius to make it round. So we'll set a border radius of 50%. Alright, so this is the dark mode button. When we click on this button, we want to have the dark mode. And when we click on this button once more, we want to have the light mode. Now if you remember from the previous video, we have added a class to the body. So if you go to inspect, we can see that in body we have added a class called dark mode. So when we have this class dark mode on our website, the website will have the dark theme. And when we don't have this class, we can see that the website will have the light theme. So let's remove the dark mode class from our theme right here and we'll be adding it using javascript so let's search for body 
and uh, let's just remove this class and save it and uh, let's refresh and see whether we have the light mode all right so we can see that this is the default color of our website now when we click on this button we want to have the dark mode class applied to the body so that we will have the dark theme so for that let's go ahead and uh, go to the bottom of our code and let's add some javascript so here i'll just create a script tag all right the first thing we'll do is uh, we will target the body so we'll create a constant and we'll name it body and uh, to target the body we'll have to type document dot query selector and in that you have to type body so now what this line of code does is that it creates a constant called body and uh, it will find the body inside our HTML and add it to this constant now we also need to access the dark mode button so let's create a constant for that as well so we'll type dark mode button and we'll type document dot query selector and since this is a class we have to type dot dark mode button now let's add an event listener to the dark mode button so we'll type dark mode button dot add event listener so event listeners are added to listen for different events from the keyboard or the mouse and uh, then perform some actions accordingly so let's set an action for the click event so we'll type click over here and then for the next argument we had to add a function so we'll type function and then we'll close this parenthesis over here first of all we'll just toggle the dark mode class to body and we'll see how it looks so we'll type body dot class list dot add or we'll just type toggle and uh, here we will type dark mode now what this line of code does is that whenever we click on this dark mode button if the body has the class dark mode it will be removed and if it doesn't have the class dark mode this class will be added to the body so let's click on save and uh, let's go to our website refresh and uh, let's click on this and see whether we have the dark mode and it is not working so let's right click over here and click on inspect and see whether we have any errors so let's go to console and uh, we have an error at line number 3416 document dot query select it should be query selector so let's go back to our code and uh, let's type query selector over here and uh, let's save it let's refresh our website and see once more whether it works and we can see when we click on this uh, button we have the dark mode and when we click on it again we have the light mode Alright, so this is fine but now when we have the dark mode and uh, when we refresh our page we can see it goes back to the light mode and uh, when we have the dark mode and if we go to any other page it goes back to the light mode so we have to fix that for that we have to use the local storage of our browser so let's go back to our code and um, let's add an if condition over here and uh, here we will type if local storage dot get item and we'll just name the item dark mode status then we will add this line of code inside the if condition and we'll also change the toggle to remove now let me explain what's going on over here here we are checking whether we have this item called dark mode status inside the local storage of our browser and we are checking it using this method called get item so whenever we are turning on the dark mode we will add an item called dark mode status to the local storage so that's what we are checking over here and uh, when we have the dark mode status item inside the local storage we can be sure that our website is currently in the dark mode so what we need to do is remove the dark mode class from the body that's why we are typing body dot class list dot remove dark mode and once the dark mode is removed we also have to remove this dark mode status item from the local storage so here let's type local storage dot remove 
and we'll type dark mode status right so that's what will happen when we have the dark mode status inside the local storage if you don't have that then it means that our website is currently in the light mode so if our website is currently in the light mode we need to change it to the dark mode so we'll type body dot class list dot add and we'll type dark mode and we'll also add the dark mode status to the local storage so here we'll type local storage dot set item and we'll type dark mode status and we'll set the value to true you can set any value over here all right so now let's save this and uh, let's refresh our website and uh, see how it works now let me show you where the local storage is stored in the browser so right click over here and click on inspect I'm using the Chrome browser so go to this arrow and click on application and here we can see we have local storage and in that we have the name of the website and this is where you can see all the local storage so let's click on this button and see whether we have a local storage called dark mode status so I have clicked on the button and we can see we have a new local storage called dark mode status and we have the value true now when we click on this button once more the dark mode status should be removed I think we have some error alright so the method is not remove it is remove item so let's go back and the local storage and here we have to type remove item alright so let's save it once more and let's refresh our page let's go to this arrow and click on application we currently have the dark mode status let's just delete it alright so let's uh, click on this button once more and we have this dark mode status let's click on it once again and now we don't have the dark mode status so whenever we click on this we have the dark mode status added over here and when we click on it once again the dark mode status is removed from the local storage now that we have the local storage working all right let's add one if condition over here to check whether dark mode status is already available in the local storage and if it is then we have to set the dark mode class to the body so we'll just copy this uh, if condition from here and we'll just remove this line of code because we don't want to remove this item from the local storage when we are just loading the page it should be removed only when we are clicking on this dark mode button and let's change remove to add because uh, when we are loading the page and if we have the dark mode status inside the local storage we need to add the dark mode class to the body all right so now let's save our theme and uh, let's see whether it works let's refresh our page now let's click on this button to add the dark mode and now we have the dark mode for our website let's open a post and we can see even when we go to a post we have the dark mode and let's refresh our page and see whether we still have the dark mode we can see we still have the dark mode so everything is working all right now one last thing we'll do to our button is that whenever we are in the dark mode we'll change the background of this button to black and whenever we are in the light mode we will change the background to white so let's do that here in the javascript so here we are removing the dark mode so here we will type dark mode button dot style dot background and I will set it equal to white and here we are adding the dark mode so let's change dark mode button style background to black and even here when we are checking for the dark mode status when we load our page we'll change the color of the dark mode button to black Right, that's basically it with the code let's save it and uh, let's see whether it works so let's click on this button to enable the dark mode and now we have this dark background for a button and uh, the dark mode is uh, still applied even if you refresh your page or go to a different page and when we click on this button once more we have the light mode and the button also has a light background so that's basically it for this video I hope that you found this useful if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day